Hello everyone! In this brief course, I will be showing you guys some basic and advanced hard surface modeling tips. If you want to check out the model in Blender, the project files will be available on my Gumroad page. Link in description. The inspiration for this robot came from the concept artist Andre Milha on ArtStation. I will mainly be breaking down the highlighted areas of this model. I will also be giving attention to the lesser parts of this mesh and provide other tips but only briefly. Boolean Operation Workflow before we start, I just have to advise you to install the Bool Tool add-on. It's important to note the Bool Tool add-on comes with two main Boolean functions. For this video, we will only focus on the brush Boolean. This snippet will summarize how we will utilize the Boolean workflow through the rest of this course. Okay, so first you will select the first object, which will be the cutter. Then you will choose the second object, which will be sliced via the difference function. Next, you will duplicate the cut object and select Intersect on the modifier tab. First object you'll be breaking down is the face plate. Here's an evolution of the face object. It's critical to start simple and add complexity over time. I started off with a single plane, extruded the edges, added a mirror modifier, and put some support loops on the mesh to refine the edges. Here's the mesh before being cut with booleans. Incorporating booleans cuts on your hard surface mesh really enhances its looks. Helmet overview. Here you can see the Boolean cutters are simple yet effective shapes placed strategically throughout the mesh. Here I am demonstrating how I achieved the slice cuts and other Boolean effects on the back of the helmet. The process of cutting may appear difficult, but it truly is a simple workflow. All it involves is performing difference cuts, duplicating objects, and using the intersect function on the Boolean mod. You can accomplish many unique results with this method. Here's a brief look on how the top of the helmet was formed. To add the holes on the forehead of the helmet, I used the Add Cylinder tool on the sidebar and performed a Boolean cut. I beveled the cylinder to create more of a crater effect on the head, as you see. Here are more places where I performed Boolean cuts. It's pretty much the same principle I used over and over again. The jaw. I made the jaw off a simple plane. I extruded the edges and added a mirror mod, and a solidify modifier in the end. Here's a quick tip to get a more accurate curve. If your mesh is out of line, you can use another reference object to fix the alignment. I use this method to mold the jaw. Quick hard surface modeling tips. Sharpening some areas of the object will solve both shading and artifact issues. The edge crease is another powerful tool useful to refine edges. It helps to eliminate the need to add more boundary loops, and it serves as an accurate way to sharpen selected corners. Using the sculpting workflow is another very impressive and versatile toolset to create organic hard surface objects. After the sculpting is done, you can retopologize the mesh and edit the low poly version. Thanks for watching.